Hello, my Christian brothers. Today we're going to talk about the Muslims. Yeah, I don't like his face. Oh, you who believe in Jesus, do not take the Muslims for friends. They are friends of each other. And whoever amongst you takes them for a friend, surely he is one of them. Verily, those who disbelieve from among the Muslims will abide in the fire of hell. They are the worst of creatures. You're a hateful bigot. Jesus does not love the Muslims. Fight those who do not believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. Strive hard against the Muslims and be unyielding to them. Fight the Muslims who are near to you and let them find in you hardness. We can't tolerate this hateful violence. Surely, Jesus has purchased paradise for the Christians. We fight in Jesus' name, so we slay and are slain. Jesus is Lord. And those who are with him are severe against Muslims and merciful among themselves. Jesus said, I have been commanded to fight against people till they testify that there is no Lord but Jesus. How dare you threaten our Muslim neighbors? Do not be weary and faint-hearted, crying for peace with Muslims when we should be uppermost. Do not give the Muslims a greeting first. Force them to the narrowest part of the road. Oh, we will really expel the Muslims from America and will not leave anyone except Christians. Oh, Muslim neighbors. So when Easter and Lent are over, slay the Muslims wherever you find them and take them captive and besiege them and prepare for them every ambush. And if anyone leaves his Christian religion, kill him. That's horrible. That's not what we're taught to do as Christians. Yeah, Jesus says, Love your enemy and pray for those who persecute you. And Paul says, let all that you do be done in love. You're right. I'm not really a Christian. I am... <gasps> a Muslim! Now, where was I? Ah, yes. O oh, ye who believe, do not take the Jews and the Christians for friends. They are friends of each other. And whoever amongst you takes them for a friend, then surely he is one of them. Verily, those who disbelieve from among the people of the scripture and al-Mushrikun will abide in the fire of hell. They are the worst of creatures. Allah does not love the unbelievers. Other cultures are very interesting. It doesn't sound so bad when he says it. But that's not any better. Fight those who believe not in Allah. Strive hard against the unbelievers and hypocrites and be unyielding to them. Fight those of the unbelievers who are near to you, and let them find in you hardness. Surely Allah has bought of the unbelievers their persons and their property for this, that they should have the garden. They fight in Allah's way, and so they slay and are slain. That's right! Make your voice heard! Muhammad is the messenger of Allah, and those with him are severe against disbelievers and merciful amongst themselves. The Messenger of Allah has said, I have been commanded to fight against people till they testify that there is no God but Allah. That's right, make your voice heard. Be not weary and faint-hearted, crying for peace when ye should be uppermost. The Prophet said, Do not give the people of the book the greeting first. Force them to the narrowest part of the road. Muhammad said, I will expel the Jews and Christians from the Arabian Peninsula and will not leave any but Muslim. When the sacred months have passed, slay the idolaters wherever you find them and take them captive and besiege them and prepare for them each ambush. And Allah's messenger said, whoever changed his Islamic religion, then kill him. Yeah, that, that's a very violent and hateful message. Though you are strikingly handsome. No, this is their culture. You're being intolerant. That's not violent. You have to understand the context. What context can possibly justify expelling all Jews and Christians from an entire peninsula? We, we don't hate him. We don't hate anyone. We're just trying to have a logical conversation. 
logical smogical. You're just hurting his feelings. My feelings are very hurt. How dare you say my religion teaches violence? Hey, you're the one who said it. Yeah, we're just using our free speech to point out what you just said. We've had enough of your bigotry. Mayor O'Reilly was right. You just don't want any Muslims in America. You're right! Bigot. This is... Bad man. You're a bad man. Islamophobe. Dave, let's get out of here. Quick, grab that microphone as a symbol of our free... Get it! Islamophobes! <laughs> <laughs> what?